Hi, Shalom. This is GMS Holland coming back with a lesson. Before we start off, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. The bonds to the elder boss of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that is spreading this word as a city and a truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. So we want to go into a couple of scriptures about how this earth is created for the Israelite man and we're gonna take it back soon man like we see all these prophecies come to pass which leads us towards entering into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai so the, the earth has great riches but guess what Esau has it now Esau has the possession of the earth at this moment that's why you see places like this where we are right now you see all these villas you know you see all these 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 mansions you see Esau just come, the villa is, is um, nobody in the villa, and then Esau come fly with the plane once a year to chill there. Yeah. You know, he have places like that, and then they put the gates around it. So Esau has the earth right now, but soon we go take it, you know? Yeah. Like Esau, the scriptures say. Esau have the fat of the earth, that's why he can't go everywhere, because he got good life. He feed paradise. So exactly. Let him be. But as soon when the kingdom come, you know we could take it over. Boom. Exactly. I have a scripture. Okay. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. See, we're going to have the kingdom, man. The saint is the one who Yahweh Bashim Al shall choose the one that believe in him. So do the work. So we do the work. And until the kingdom come, we're going to have it. Exactly. So right now, be patient. Mm -hmm. Live in sober. Live in a devil place. Just live there, man. Just live and be happy. Just be happy. Study deep on. You understand? That's Until right. the time come, man. Just have patience. Can, okay. you, can you read? Um, wait, yeah. before you read that, can you grab uh, Revelation 21? Mm -hmm. And I grab one scripture on what you said. Okay, good. I hope the volume is good. I hope y'all can hear good. Um, I have one scripture before we go into that mm -hmm. on what the brother was talking about. This is um, Psalms 73 verse 2. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps at while nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their debt, but their strength is firm. You see, so Esau has all these blessings. Esau has all these riches right now. And Esau is being prosperous, man. He has all these things. But you should not be envious at that. You should not be jealous on what Esau have. Fuck that shit, man. We're going to have 10,000 times greater than that, man. You cannot even compare what we're going to have to what Esau has right now, man. Esau wants to inhabit planets. But guess what? The monster blocks him from that. You see, Esau wants to have joy in life, but guess what? The most that blocks him from that. Because you often see that Jake walk with the family, the children, and just, just eat ice cream, and then Esau on the boat, and he looking. He ain't like, yeah. Meanwhile, he has a big-ass boat. He has a big-ass boat. Yuck. Call it yuck. He, yeah, he has a yacht, and uh, he has everything, man. But yeah. then he still look at Jake like, ah. Uh, he affects him that we still can enjoy our time. We eat ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's why now, man, we just made a video this morning about uh, that they put us on the internet. They defame us. They yeah, put us on uh, in the newspaper. You know, they talk shit about us. Why? What is this? What's going on? Esau has the perpetual hatred. He has the perpetual hatred for us, man. You know, so he keeps on going. He keeps on talking shit forever, man. Mm. You know, so it says, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their debt, but their strength is firm. Yeah, Esau, there are no bands in his debt. These devils be living uh, 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 until their hundreds and even past that, man. You see, look at this uh, queen uh, from England. She's still living, man. She's still ruling even. And she's almost ashes, man. I always say she's almost ashes. You know? And she is still ruling. So what's going on? Then you have these Rothschilds and these Rockefellers. They keep ruling, man. Why is that? There are no bands in their debt. They live lavish. They live great, prosperous. But we should not be envious at that.
Because like I said, the earth, we are gonna inhabit it. We're gonna have everything, man. Um, they are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. You see? So the scriptures say, their eyes stand out with fatness. Yeah, the fatness. Yeah, so yesterday, me and the brother, we was talking about why does the scripture say the fatness? You know? So I explained the brother like, that's, that, can, that shows you how Jake talk. Hey man, he living fat, man. Yeah. He got cheese. Yeah. He got that cheese. He ain't got cheese. He ain't got cheese in his yeah, pocket. Me, the money. He got money. Yeah. You know? Otherwise, Jake tried to say, man, he got something fat, man. What do you have in your pocket? Yeah, what, what, what watch it. Fat in your pocket, man. Yeah. Yeah, or they say you balling. <laughs> you're not you're not playing basketball, exactly. but you balling. What's the scriptures, man? The scriptures exactly. telling you like um treat things, man. Exactly. Powerful. Exactly, and that's the slang. That's the slang of how Jake talk, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you have sex with a woman, when you have sex with a woman, or you talk about the, with the homie about a, hey, you pop the girl, you pop what you pop something See, pop no thing. you pop her. And then also we say, um, uh, you, you wifey, you wifey, something like that. Yeah. That's what they say, you wifey, me, you fuck up. Or your main squeeze. Yeah. It's your main squeeze. So Jake, Jake is creative with that. He always creates words and, and, and things to say, you know. Yeah. And if you read the scriptures, you see the same thing. Oh, yeah. he, he live in fat. Or he went in unto her. Means he go take her. You know, he lay hold on her. He lay hold on her, God. means he raped her. God, God, God. He humbled her. You see, so the scriptures is full with words like that. So this scripture say, Therefore pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Grab um, Genesis. Genesis. 27 and 39. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. So what does that mean, man? Esau has whatever he wants, man. Esau has the fatness of the earth. Because that is what has been prophesied by, um, by um, uh, Jacob, man. Jacob prophesied about that. Jacob already said, like, listen, uh, Slakia, Isaac, I mean Isaac. Isaac already said. I want to share up. You come up with it. Hey, it's a spirit. Uh, so, I was just take up with it, just take up, but I think maybe you said something. And you come up with Isaac. I want to share yeah. Uh, yeah. So Isaac. I was looking for it too. So he, yeah, that's um, Genesis 27. 27 first? 37, I believe. Or 39. Isaac answered. Yeah, I got it. So, so Isaac already tell him what, what's going to happen. Now we, in the, we are in those days, man. Because it says, when thou shalt loose the yoke from your brother. Who's the brother? Jacob, man. We are the brother. Because these Edomites was always under us. Under subjection. You know? Even when these other nations was ruling. The moment these other nations go against us. Then all of a sudden, they want to join. They also want to come against us. You see? Because that's how Esau is. Esau has this hatred for us. I'm going to grab that scripture too. But the thing is, um, Esau, when Esau gave um, Jacob the bless. But he didn't know that was uh, uh, Esau. But when Isaac gave Jacob the plus, and after that, Esau asked for the plus. But Isaac said, he gave it already. Oh, it was Jacob. But then, the plus he gave um, Esau, you know what the plus he gave? is sword. A yeah. sword. So he'd be ruling the world. So exactly. that's what Esau get. Uh -huh. So this is what he want now. And the paradise and the fatness of earth, he could get that. But the plus for us, we are the chosen one. That's right. We're going to be over the kingdom, man. That's the thing. But that's what we because say, go, 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 take the plus. Boom, come back. I'm like, yeah. Go, you gotta go. He coming for you, go. Yeah. Boom. And then through the scriptures, we know that we have to have patience. That's why the prophet Asap say, my feet almost slip. He know, he almost went off because he look at the wicked and he, he don't understand why they live like that. Why they have? Why why do they have everything? They have everything they want. Why is that? You see? 
So the prophet Asapa, then the scriptures say he went into the sanctuary of the Most High. So he get into the understanding. Yeah. And then he know like, oh, yes. I should not, I should not stress about them. Man. Exactly. According to the spirit, man, calm down. Calm Don't down. Be yeah, like man. That. And and that goes for brothers in this truth, man. You have to be calm and wait upon your heart, Hashem Yahushua. The scriptures constantly say that they that wait, blessed are they that wait upon the Lord, man. Um, should I read it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Genesis? Gone. Genesis chapter 20, 27, verse, um, I believe 27. And I answer, answer, I'm saying, I'm doing this stuff. No, start up. Start if up. you start, uh, let me see. Start at um, 32. Yeah. Huh? 32? Yeah. Oh, okay. But then you also say 48. Okay. okay. I, uh, Genesis chapter um, 27, verse um, 32. Yeah. And Isa, his father, saying unto him, Who art thou? And he saying, I am the, thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isa, tribbling, very exceedingly, and saying, Isaac Who? trembled. It says, Isaac trembled very exceedingly. So he was like, Oh no, because he just gave the blessing. Yeah. But he don't know who he gave it to. He's like, what? There was I a... just put a blessing upon someone and I thought it was you. But who is it then? Boom. That is said, uh, I said, and I said, trembling, um, no, 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 wait, um, yeah. And I said, trembling, very excellently. And say, who? Where is he that had taken venison? Venison. And brought it me? And I have eaten of all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yeah, and I have blessed him. Yeah, and he shall be blessed. Yeah, so Isaac is like, who did just come and I ate of his venison? Because that man, even though it was not Esau, he's going to be blessed, man. So Isaac already say like, regardlessly, this man is going to be blessed. Even though, um, um, Isaac was supposed to give Esau the blessing, but he said, hey, the blessing already is, is already put upon this man, but who is he? That he wandered, that's right. Yeah. And he, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a cry and a setting, um, a setting, that the cry, and said unto his father, bless me. Even me also. Oh, my father. And that's exactly what he did, man. He was crying, man. He was crying. He said, no, please. I need the blessing too. He, he cried better like, ah, ah, let me, me down. <laughs> yeah, man. He you know how he used to always go on his knees? No. <laughs> he go on his knees? No. You know, in the movie. He saw was crying, man. Because he knew what that blessing meant. He knew it, man. The blessing of your father. That's what he received. Okay? So he said, do you have a blessing for me? Oh, my father. Okay. And he sang, thy brother came with sub subtility. Subtility, which is skill. He came with skill to get what he want. Which that is what the, what his name means. Shots. Jacob Jacob means supplanter. Supplanter, yeah. Yeah, so he, to supplant means to in some form or way get what you want that's why <laughs> he gets jake what he wants. always do that man you know jake always doing something man when somebody tell you something that then you could be wise man you could be like oh yeah no you're going smart you're going to do something else. yeah so, yeah man that's how we get man for example i want to take him somewhere he say no 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 he don't want to go i go to speak certain things that he be like <laughs> okay i want to go you see? Something for example, for example. We done? Uh-huh. Um, um. And had taken away thy blessing. And he sang, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he had supplanted. <laughs> he said they are there. Supplanted me these two times. Yeah, so Esau says, man, unbelievable, man. So this is why his name is Jacob, because he supplanted me two times. He tricked him into get 
what he want. Yeah, so yeah. Esau, one, uh, uh, Jacob want, knows he wants to have the, the birthright. Brought Jacob right. knows he wants to get the blessing. So he supplanted Esau two times. Brought. And guess what? His mother helped him the second time, man. His mother. Because the angel came to, to her yeah, before they was born. Mm -hmm. and, and then the angel tell um, the um, Rebecca, the angel tell Rebecca, hey, he is going to be blessed. Yes. Jacob had to be blessed and the second one not. I mean, the Esau was born first, but he tried to tell her that Jacob had to be blessed. Yeah, I can read that real quick. Okay. Let, me, let me read that real quick. Okay. This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. And Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived, so she became pregnant. And the children struggled in together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So if it's a good thing that I'm pregnant, why do I feel... I feel what about me fighting? Yeah. Why am I feeling like that? And she went to inquire of Yahweh, so she come. She prayed to Yahweh, why is this happening to me? Right. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. So she be like, oh wait. Okay. So the first one that's going to come out, he's the elder, but he's going to serve the younger. Okay, so Rebecca, she know it. She know it. I was telling it now because she know it. Why? She was sick with her. Oh, and when she bear, she see the first one to her. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. And the other one come up. Oh, Jacob. Oh, the brown one. That's why she see red. And she know what she doing. Yeah, so it says, And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in a room, in the womb, like, yeah. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. You know? Is this biblical call his name? Uh, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they, both of okay. them, they called his name Esau. But there was a reason for, that they called his name Esau because the word Esau means Aishashua. And Aishashua means wasted away is he what is wasted away his pigment he he has no pigmentation you see that's why he's red because you see the blood through his skin okay so the first came out red all over like a hairy garment they called his name esau and after that came his brother out and his hand took hold on esau's heel now what that spiritually represents is that we're gonna pull down esau out of this kingdom yeah. That's why the scripture says, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. That's what we're going to do, man. So Esau will be living around here, fat. The man of the Lord is going to hunt them and take this whole place over, man. And what does a hunter do? A hunter kills. So that's what's going to happen. A lot of these Edomites is going to be killed or put in slavery, man. The scripture says they're going to get changed around their necks. For a thousand years. For a thousand years, and I then forgot he... to show it as fucking you know, man. Yeah, man. Show them away. Born in Scott. So that's what the holding of the heel represents. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Three score is uh, is sixty. Three score is yeah, sixty. Twenty times. Twenty times thirty. Yeah, one one score is twenty. So three score is sixty. Um. So it says. Um. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. But Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. So now you understand why Rebekah loved Jacob. Because the Most High speak to her. And she hear him that he could be a true nation. Exactly. Good. Um, so that was the point. So you can read on. Okay. And um, then let me go read it again. Um, <clears throat> um well, where was yeah I'll read first 36 let me see Genesis chapter 27 verse 36 and he's saying it's not rightly named Jacob for he had supplanted me these two times 
he took away my birthright. And behold, now he has taken away my blessing. And he saying, Has thou not received a bless a blessing for me? Exactly. So Esau was like, So you don't have a blessing for me? I don't wanna fall, you know? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm controlling. <laughs> controlling so, <laughs> so Esau says, Father, you don't have a blessing for me? Read. And I said, answer and saying unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for service, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Exactly so. Isaac is like, okay, I, I raised up my son Jacob. So, regardless, he's going to be blessed, man. So, now you come. What shall I do with you? He thinking, what shall I do with you? Yeah, cool. We done? And Esau said unto his father, Has told but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. What does it mean to weep? It means to cry, man. <laughs> Esau lift up his voice. He weeping. He crying. He needs to have a blessing too. For what? For his generation to come. Which that is the is the nation of Edom, which means red. Other one. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's a lizard. Big lizard coming. Oh, that's good. Chill, man. Be cool. It's nothing. Come. Okay. Um, verse 39, And I saw his father answer and say unto him, Behold, thy swelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So Isaac said, Listen, you're going to live with the fatness of the earth. You're going to have good portions in the earth. So when you see islands, you know, even the islands where we're from, he from St. Martin, my family from Aruba. Even there, man, where you go there, you see the big mansions. Esau has it. Yeah, Jake lives in the poor neighborhoods. Here it is. These devils placed us on the island, put us in slavery. Then they left, and we live broke. We live poor. But Esau has big mansions. Esau has, Esau has oh, places. <laughs> Esau has places where Jake is not allowed to come. Beaches. They close the beach. If Jake comes there, they say, Hey, hey, get away from here. Yeah. Even the cafe and the um clubs or stuff like that when you go to the shop the area is blur to them yeah but back in the day what happened in um, south africa is you want to put it like the same thing as america no black allowed just to say white yeah and um black you know that's what happened in dutch hey in that's dutch, why you uh, don't allow no black coming in the train and stuff like that dutch st martin right yeah, in, um, in um, South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Oh. Yeah, I talk about South Africa. Not in um, um, St. Martin, no. Yeah, South Africa, they do that. They make Esau come, um, make Jay can't go in the arm um, train because it's allowed for white people, holy. The same thing what he's saying, Esau have a mess that nobody can come there, only for Esau to go in. Exactly. That's what the fuck he's doing, man. Hey, we could fuck him up, man. Exactly. Plus, and that's the point, man. Even though he has all these things, we have to stay patient. Stay yeah. patient and just watch this devil, what he's doing, and stay wise. That's why Yahushua said, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. Right. Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove and walk with wisdom. What is the wisdom? This devil is going to go down. What is the wisdom? We're going to inherit the kingdom. What is the wisdom? Esau is going to go in slavery for a thousand years. What is the wisdom? After a thousand years, he's going to be destroyed. So what, what is there to stress about, man? We don't have to lay hands upon Esau because the scripture says this. Let me grab it real quick. Exodus. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. Yahweh shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. So the Heavenly Father is going to put everything straight, man. The Heavenly Father is going to put everything straight. Another scripture is 2 Thessalonians. Because this is the wisdom, man. And this is, these are the things that we have to meditate upon. 
Let me see. Uh, I think I passed it. Yeah, I passed it. This is what we have to meditate upon day in and day out. Because then we're going to be like a tree planted close by the river. We never have to worry. A tree that is planted close by the river never has to worry, man. Because he knows he will have sufficient. A river is never without water. Unless it's uh, Africa, of course. In Africa, rivers dry up. But play, if, if, a, if a tree is in a normal environment and he's placed next to the water, he's never going to dry up, man. He's never going to dry up. So this is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So we know Esau is gonna, going to get his recompense. He's going to be compensated for the things that he did, which is trouble us, put afflictions upon us, hell upon us, put us in slavery. It's going to be made straight. Now it's like this. Jacob is here. Esau is here. But it's going to be made straight. And Esau is going to have to play with blood. Or pay with blood. That precip. Gone. But Esau have to be at the end of time, man. Let me get this. Um, um, Saka Sira, uh, Esteras, chapter um, 6, verse... Um, let me start 7. Then answer, and then answer I and say, What shall be the part in a sort of the time? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow yeah so Ezra was like when is going to be the end of this these times which is this kingdom because Ezra was being told that he's going to inherit a great kingdom so Ezra was like okay so when is this this part going to be finished and when are we going to enter into the new part which is the kingdom where we are not going to get sick we're not gonna die. We're gonna be immortal. Oh, we not our, our women are not gonna have a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Our women are not gonna uh, commit uh, have abortion. And also the pain when they born. Also, that is gonna be a way, man. Our children is gonna be strong from birth, man. Not, you know, some children are weaker than the other. Yeah. No, they're gonna be strong, man. Who knows, man? Maybe, maybe they one year old. They can already fly, man. <laughs> Instead of crawling, they learn how to fly <laughs> quick. You know, that's what the kingdom holds uh, 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 in store for us, man. Okay. So is that is that then a reason that you should be stressed out? Of course, still we in the flesh. So this kingdom is going to stress the shit out of you, man. Okay. But what does Romans chapter 8 verse 18 say? Let me grab it real quick. Romans, Romans chapter 8 verse 18. This is one of my favorite scriptures, man, which keeps me sane. And that's the scriptures. The scriptures keep you sane. If you don't have the scriptures, you go insane. You go bug out, man. Yeah. That's why we see people that fall out this truth. They bug the fuck out, man. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the suffering that we go through here, which is uh, su uh, the word suffering goes, in, uh, um, uh, goes into patience, man. Yeah, it, patient, yeah. So we have to be patient while we are suffering in this kingdom because it's not you're not allowed to compare the kingdom with what we're going through now, man. It's nothing, man. It's nothing. You do you understand what you will get if you just suffer through it? That is what the most high is telling us. Don't worry about it, man. Keep going. Keep going and keep pushing this truth. Be on fire for this truth. That's why the scripture says, be fervent. What does it mean to be fervent? To be on fire, man. And what is the word? The word is a fire. So keep it in you. Just like when Son Goku, when so Son Goku turned into Super Saiyan, yeah. uh, Super Saiyan God. Yeah. He, he turned into Super Saiyan Goto, which is the God mode, and he turned all red. And then the character say, "Oh, it looked like he had fire around him." That's yeah. how we have to be, yeah, man. Yeah. That's how we have to be. The hour. Okay. Um, let me go on. Verse eight. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob had healed first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of him that follow. Exactly. Esau is the end of the world. What does it mean? What does that mean? The end of the world, not, not the destruction of this earth. 
because the scriptures say the earth abideth forever. So this globe, this world is never going to be destroyed. Oh. But a long time ago, so like a long time ago, they said the earth could be boom, disappear. We just no earth. That's what I hear that law came ago, but it's bullshit, man. Now I go in the church just and I understand the world. Who rule in the world? The wicked that rule in the world, he have the world in his hand. So that will be over. That's right. We could take it over. Yeah, man. Right. So it's not talking about the globe. The globe is not going to be destroyed. The earth will stay intact forever. So what Esau, all the bullshit Esau say that the meteorite will come and destroy everything. That's the thing. That's all bullshit, man. The most that created the earth through his angels and his son, that's going to remain intact. And this is going to be the headquarters of the kingdom. But the kingdom is going to stretch out into all kinds of uh, galaxies and Let's planets. Because Yahweh I spoke about it. Yahweh I said in my father's house are many mansions. So we see the chariots, man. We see the chariots move even... Even we are here for one day now, you know? In behind us, boom! Listen, man, we, where we are right now is, is called Tenerife. Tenerife is an island by the west coast of Africa. So, we was, um, we was, uh, look up yesterday, we was talking, about you know, sun. and then we turned around, and we was talking about the stars, and, yeah, then, and, the, then, and, and then, then the chariot. Yeah, yeah that, then I was uh, talking about the sun, then stuff like that, then... I turn around. Some, no, something make us turn around. Yeah, man. And then a bright chariot. Boom. And then it becomes small light. And then the deep go on forward. And then when he go get the trunks, I see alone. Boom. Three chariots come again. Bam, bam, bam. I was like, eh. And he came back and said, eh, you miss it, man. Boom. And then he fell asleep. On the on the chair, <laughs> he fell asleep on the chair, and I'm just watching the chair. I just see the cherries go that way, that way, become bright, dim, gone. Right. Man, the chariots is out there, man, and they're watching over us, protecting us, you know, showing us like, hey, don't worry, because the salvation is near, like the scripture says, man. Even uh, even I hear from the brother in America, they have all the chariots right there. Why? Where the brother was teaching? Boom! It was Yapa, man, Yapa. And the other one too, man. He was three men um, New, New York. Oh, New York, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. New that York, one? also the New York. New York, you see all this job chariot beside the building. And he's streaming through your house bars and outside. You see a lot of them bam. And the other one in um where? Uh Chicago. Chicago. Then you see That's all the, the one I was showing you, and then yeah. we talk, and then we talk about the chariots, and yeah. then we turn around and then we see one, Boom. one yeah. big chariot. Yeah, man. So read on. Um, I go back to um, Genesis twenty-seven verse um, um, yeah, thirty-nine. And Isaiah, his father, answer and say unto him, Behold, thy swelling, and be the fatness of the earth. What? And read it again. Fatness of the earth. And Isaac, Isaac, his father, a hey, I have deja vu. Deja vu. It's like I see this already. Okay. Anyway. That's the that's the fish and what I, I talk about sometimes. I see already something go happen. I'm very happy. So I remember you read this and I I ain't get what you're reading. Oh. And then in in the maybe it was a dream. I tell you, hey, read it again. And then I read it myself. And then I do it. Oh. Anyway, that's why we spiritual people, man. When the spirit of your Bashim Shai is on you, you can feel, sense type of things, man. There was a brother in the camp. There. Yeah, there was a brother or a brother that uh, follows our teachings and he was doing something, but we didn't know. And then five brothers get dreams. Five brothers get a dream about what he's doing. And then we ask him and he say, yeah, that's right. So that's crazy, man. The most tight. When, you, spirit, when you are a body, everything flows through you, man. And brothers find out like, wake up. Huh? And then they ask him. We all ask him and he say, yeah, true. Then he say, yeah, man, that's dope, man. That's why you just said they have food. So you recognize you will see already and show something. Yeah. That you recognize. I, I see this already. I see this same moment already. Gone. I saw it already, but I didn't know it could happen yet. Boom, it happened there. So that's you could see the push. Gone, something gone. Something like that, man. So, so it say what this you read, right? Yeah, Verse 39. 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, 
and of the dew of heaven from above. So Esau has the beautiful, most beautiful places the right dew now. Dew of man. heaven. It's like when it's sundown, you see beautiful place. Hey, that's what Esau did, man. Yeah, man. I can show, I can show the brothers real quick. Let me show them real quick, man. Can you hold this for me? Yes. Oh, you yeah, leave it, leave it. See, this is what Esau has, man. What they have there is uh, close by the beach, close by the water. Esau have the villa, hotel, everything. Well, it's beautiful over there, man. That's Esau. That's Esau's spot. That's why he got everything there. But out of here, the two poor people live around there, just, uh, you know. Those, yeah, which... Um, which is the the Ishmaelites? Oh yeah, some Ishmaelites, like some Jake, you know, some Jake live in the poor area. Yeah, you know, which is from Morocco. The Berbers come here. Yeah. they try to live. They work in the hotel. They as... work for them, deal. Yes, that's the point. They live along here, man. Over there, it's all the you know the hotels and the rich people, but also here on top of the hill, you have the big houses, the mansions. Yeah. Over there, there you can see this house. It's um, the put um, let's say the normal people that live in there from if from here, so they live there, you know. It's normal, just where they live now. And it's sometimes they have villa, a villa over there. Esau want to go a top of mountain to see the view. They have a villa over there, but then, yeah, Esau feel fat of the earth, man. I'm telling you, gone, gone. That's right, man. Turn it back. Put it back. Huh? Yeah, so it would. So yeah. Good. Um Yeah, so that that was it. So that was that it. Was okay. it yeah. But wait. Um Yeah, wait, let me go down more, just a little bit more. First party. And by by the sword, by the sword shall do leap and shall serve thy brother and hate shall come to pass when thou shall have the um oh yeah that was that dominion good. dominion that thou sh okay um and hate shall dominion yeah and it shall come to pass when thou shall have the dominion which dominion, is the, sorry. which is the rulership so isa has the rulership right now man but he used to be a servant of us that's why you saw uh, king saul he had the Edomite, the strong Edomite, and then um, that Edomite, he killed all the Levites, all the priests, he killed all of them, you know, strong uh, Edomite, Doeg, you know, so Esau was servants of us, man. That's why King Saul happy, that's why um, Samuel, Samuel mad, what the fuck you have in there, man, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, man. That thou shall bring his yoke from off thy neck. Yeah, so Esau has broken the yoke from off uh, from off the neck right now, man. Esau is now loose from the bonds from us, but we was not treating Esau as a, uh, as a servant like that. Like how we had us as slaves, we was not treating Esau like that, man. We just had them and they did our work for us. They helped us, you know, but it was not hardcore bondage, man. But guess what? Since you wanted to do that, that is going to come back on you, man. Fine. Was not like you do. Not like Esau do, I mean. Yeah, See, man. Now we go back to the trip. Just even to here, man. Even here. How Esau looking at us, man. You know, we walk hey. in the street. Esau look like this. Like, what you doing here, man? Yeah. What you doing here? It seems like that. Like we, that. we just come in. We going to get something. We walk in Esau just quiet and looking. Oh, where we eating? Did they wash in the eating when they were um, Where we eating? The Esau and the people that washing us eating. I, I was feeling somebody wash me, so I look quick, and then she be like, yeah. she looked this way. But she was also talking about your chain. Oh yeah, I yeah. yeah, she talked about my chain. She was, I, I believe she was talking about the gemstones also, but she had the face, it's like sour, hatred, hatred. sour face, you know? Hatred, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, you was going back to, um, um, this one finished already? Second Ephraim, seven first. I have one yes. scripture. I have one scripture, then we read that. Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5. Uh, let me start at 1. 
Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. What is Mount Seir, man? Mount Seir is the, is the capital of, uh, of, um, of America, I wanted to say. Mount Seir is the capital of the land of Edom, man. See, you also have Jake around there, man. Actually, yes. And they feel the spirit. They say, hey, what's going on, man? You know, you do have that. This this place is, is a little bit better than Greece. If you go into Greece, man, Hatred. you have a bunch of crackers there. And guess what? They are Amalek. Those Grecians right now, the people that are in Greece right now, they are Amalekites. And 